Deadly, check. Destructive, check. These storms and weather events are some of the worst we've seen, as well as some of the craziest. Tornadoes, hurricanes, and earthquakes galore. This is world's most extreme weather events. 10. Johnstown Flood Johnstown, Pennsylvania was a thriving town in 1889. It was known for its steel production and all of the opportunities that jobs in the steel industry afforded. In May 1889, the population sat right around 30,000 people, people who would quickly see their little town become the scene of a disaster. The area, which was already prone to flooding because of Little Conema River and Stony Creek coming together nearby, would see just how flooded their little paradise could get. On the 31st of May, heavy rainfalls dropped roughly 10 inches onto the town in 24 hours, and it was literally swamped. Telegraph lines and railroad tracks alike were washed away in raging torrents as creeks became rivers and any type of low ground became perfect reservoirs and pathways for the water to travel as well. The South Fork Dam couldn't handle all of the extra water, and it burst, pummeling Johnstown and other surrounding towns with 20 million tons of water in about 40 minutes. Around 2,209 people didn't make it, and about $17 million of damage was incurred, which equates to roughly 474 million US dollars today. 9. Mount Washington Now, this isn't much of a disaster, but it is unusual weather, and it broke a record that has now stood for 85 years. On April 12, 1934, New Hampshire's Mount Washington Observatory recorded the highest surface winds that have ever been documented anywhere on Earth. The thing is, the day before, three meteorologists felt the weather was fitting for a typical spring storm, but they quickly realized their miscalculation. By 5 a.m. on the 12th, winds had climbed to 150 miles per hour, and that speed just continued to rise all the way to 1.21 p.m. when the recorded wind was recorded. Just how fast was it? An incredible 231 miles per hour. Nobody was injured, and no damage was done, but three mines were wholly blown. In the official log, Saul Paliuka, one of the meteorologists, wrote, Our first thought was, will anyone believe it? 8. 1925 Tri-State Tornado not only was this tornado extremely damaging and responsible for ending many lives, but it was also the longest sustained tornado on record. It started in Missouri, traveled through Illinois, and moved into Indiana. It spent a total of 3.5 hours on the ground. At around 1 in the afternoon on March 18th, the tornado hit land in proximity to Ellington, Missouri, and worked its way to its termination point near Petersburg, Indiana, where it finally ended at 4.30 p.m. 15,000 homes were torn apart in the twister, roughly 695 people lost their lives, and although it wasn't officially rated on the Fujita scale by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, many experts believed it was an F5. F5 tornadoes are tip-top, maximum damage-rated tornadoes on the scale, as it caused approximately 16.5 million in damage in 1925. That total was adjusted for inflation and wealth slash population in 2011, and came out to be about 1.4 billion. It stands as the third most costly tornado on record. 7. 1906 San Francisco Earthquake This earthquake was one of the worst in the history of the United States, as well as one of the deadliest. It struck along the San Andreas Fault on April 18th at 5.12 a.m. and could be felt from south of the Bay Area in the Salinas Valley all the way to Eureka in the northern part of California. It registered as a 7.9 on the moment magnitude scale, which is a scale better than the Richter at measuring large earthquakes. The Richter scale wasn't even around when the quake hit, as it preceded the development of the new scale by three decades. Thousands of homes and businesses were literally shaken apart during the high-intensity shaking, but that wasn't the end of the trouble. Soon, fires broke out in the shattered city, which lasted for days and consumed a good portion of San Francisco. In the end, about 80% of the city was devastated, and up to 3,000 people lost their lives. It is the deadliest natural disaster in the history of the state of California, and between 227,000 and 300,000 people were made newly homeless out of a population of around 410,000. 6. 1928 Okeechobee Hurricane This massive hurricane is also called the San Felipe Sangundo Hurricane, and it started off as just a tropical depression on September 6th near the western coast of Africa. The storm built up and then slowed back down and repeated a couple of times, but just before hitting Guadeloupe in the Caribbean, it reached a Category 4 level. There, it took the lives of 1,200 people and caused incredible destruction before moving on. Then, on September 16th, it further strengthened and became a Category 5 hurricane and hit Puerto Rico. It was the only Category 5 to ever hit Puerto Rico until Hurricane Maria in 2017. 
Once there, it destroyed 24,728 homes and damaged 192,444 more and left 500,000 people on the island homeless. It brought with it heavy rainfalls, which did extreme damage to agriculture, and around 312 people there lost their lives in the storm. 5. 2004 Indian Ocean Tsunami Just one day after Christmas, on December 26, 2004, a gigantic earthquake took place off of northern Sumatra's west coast. It registered a 9.1 to 9.3 on the moment magnitude scale and was classified as an undersea megathrust earthquake. That quake sent tsunamis in various directions and wreaked havoc in 11 different countries and caused fatalities in 14. The massive, up to 100-foot high tsunami waves were collectively called the Boxing Day Tsunamis. For reference, 10-story buildings are around 100 feet tall. These waves did the most damage in Indonesia, Thailand, India, and Sri Lanka, and reports put the loss of life at right around 227,889. Roughly 9,000 tourists were part of that number, and most of those were European. The quake and resulting tsunamis just so happened to occur at the peak of the holiday travel season. The earthquake resulted from faulting, which lasted 8 to 10 minutes, the longest duration of faulting ever seen, and it was the third largest on record. 4. Great Blizzard of 1888 one of the craziest and most severe blizzards to happen in the United States started not long after midnight on March 12, 1888. It continued to dump snow on the northeastern part of the country for a day and a half. Between 30 and 50 inches of snow was dumped in Massachusetts, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Rhode Island, Vermont, and some of the surrounding areas. Saratoga Springs, New York is said to have reached 58 inches. Sustained winds of over 45 miles per hour didn't help much and created snow drifts that averaged between 30 and 40 feet in height, although the highest came in at 52 feet in Gravesend, New York. Many people were stuck indoors for up to a week, fire stations were unable to operate, railroads were shut down, ships were wrecked and grounded, and all other means of transportation were wholly immobilized. More than 400 people lost their lives due to the blizzard and the ensuing cold that followed with New York City seeing the most casualties at right around 200. 3. Hurricane Katrina A lot of us will remember this extremely deadly, extremely destructive Category 5 hurricane that happened in August of 2005. It caused damage and death in many states, mainly Mississippi and Louisiana, but also Florida, Alabama, Georgia, Texas, and more. It was the costliest and most damaging Atlantic hurricane ever and was the sixth most powerful ever recorded. It started up in the Bahamas and peaked on August 28th, with winds hitting 175 miles per hour at times. She even spawned many tornadoes across a bunch of different states, as the winds really stirred things up. Georgia experienced 18 tornadoes on the 29th of August, which was a record for most tornadoes in one day in the state. Many evacuation orders and recommendations were put out, although many either decided to try and ride out the storm or couldn't get out in time. Oh, and you may remember talk of levees breaking during the storm. 53 different levee breaches were reported in New Orleans, causing severe flooding throughout the city. In total, around 2,000 people lost their lives during the hurricane, and roughly $80 billion in damage was done. 2. 1900 Galveston Hurricane On September 8, 1900, roughly 8,000 people fell victim to what is the worst natural disaster ever in the U.S. Galveston, Texas was, at the time, the biggest city in all of Texas. Of all Atlantic hurricanes, it was the fourth most deadly, and it was one of the deadliest to affect Canada as well. The island of Galveston was basically entirely covered in 8 to 12 feet of water, which caused every single house on it to get damaged. Not to mention 3,636 were wholly destroyed, and on top of the loss of life, around 10,000 were left homeless. At the time, the city was still thriving in what's called the Golden Era of Galveston. However, the hurricane put an abrupt end to that. The hurricane was even the first of the season, and it peaked on September 8th, a day before it made landfall at Jamaica Beach, Texas, near Galveston, as a Category 4, with sustained winds reaching a maximum of 145 miles per hour. In the U.S. alone, more than 34 million in damages were caused, with approximately 30 million of it occurring in Galveston. We've seen some pretty crazy weather so far, and we've still got one more extreme event to go. But first, we'd like to ask, what's the worst weather you've ever experienced? Any blizzards, hurricanes, tornadoes, or worse that you've been stuck in? Let us know in the comments below. 1. Hurricane Maria If you're watching this video, then you most definitely remember Hurricane Maria hitting. It was a Category 5, and it carved a devastating path across Puerto Rico and Dominica. 
While it was just the tenth most intense hurricane in the Atlantic in recorded history, it was most definitely the worst natural disaster for those two islands. It was one of just many hurricanes in the Atlantic during the storm season of 2017, but it was definitely the most deadly. There are 3,057 people confirmed to have lost their lives, although the number could be higher. 2,975 of those were in Puerto Rico alone, and it took some time for that figure to come out. Initially, for some time following the storm, the island reported that just 64 people had fallen to Maria, although that later changed. The storm originated from a tropical wave, and on September 6, 2017, it officially became a storm. Weather conditions were perfect for the storm to grow out of control quickly as it approached the island arc, and it was labeled a Category 5 just before hitting Dominica on September 8th. By September 20th, it had fallen to a high-level Category 4 hurricane and struck Puerto Rico, which ended up suffering mostly from flooding and a slow response to get the island supplies that it so desperately needed. Also, most of the fatalities due to Maria in Puerto Rico occurred after the storm had already passed. If you enjoyed this video, do us a favor and give it a like. Subscribe to our channel below or by clicking on our logo right here so that you never miss out on any of our excellent uploads. And check out this next video we handpicked just for you.